Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm just plain exhausted. I have been setting up for this demonstration, which I thought was going to be really easy, for three hours. And I did one show and made some really bad mistakes, so i got to do it over. Okay, what we're going to look at this morning is this MFJ Digital SWR slash Watt Meter. Now, I thought I was going to have a very simple setup. And what I was going to do is I was going to use one of my little Bofang radios and hook it to the watt meter and do a simple test. Well, unfortunately, I haven't used this in a while. And, of course, the battery is low. And when I keyed the mic, it didn't have any output. So forget that. So I thought, okay, no problem. Um, let's use something with a little more power. Let's use my ICOM 706. Okay, so the ICOM 706 requires an external power supply. And I have two here at my workbench. Let me show them to you real quick if I can without breaking my camera. Right there. Right here. I have two, two power supplies. They're small power supplies. And they work fine if you're just using the radio for a receipt. But I found out that even though I think this one is put out, supposed to put out one or two amps, and this one is says right on here, four amps, it didn't hack it. When I keyed the mic on my 706, with it set to low power, which is like one or two watts, the power out of the power supplies went way down like 10 volts so not usable so i'm looking around i know i have several power supplies and i'm looking around for my big power supply which is um i think 20 amps and i saw it it's over there in the corner buried over there no way that i can get to it in less than two or three hours and then i'll probably break my neck so I says, okay, forget that. And it's heavy. It's, it probably weighs 50 pounds. So you can't just do a, a one-hand lift. you got to use both hands, which means you've got to be right at it. So that, that was a failure. So I'm saying, I'm thinking to myself, i got more. And i got some kind of middle-of-the-road as far as amperage power supplies. Well, I found one. It was over on my other workbench behind me. And, of course... Trying to be neat, I've had, you know, wired the cables back behind the bookshelf and, you know, made it all nice and neat, which means I had to pull everything out to get to the power cord so that I could move it over here, and it's right here. This is a Clegg 12 amp power supply, so that should do it. So I hooked it up, it looked like it was going to work. So let me just show you what's in the box. This is the 847, and you, it comes with a power cable, a USB power cable. They give you the USB power cable, and it has a little connector on the side of it that you can power that meter with USB power, either through an adapter or maybe even through your computer. Uh, the computer might introduce noise, so I wouldn't use the computer. Or you can put in two AAA batteries which is what I did. So that's what it comes with, and it comes with a little manual. That's what's in the box. Here is the meter. All right. So then I'm like, what am I going to use for an antenna? I normally down here in my workshop, I don't transmit. Um, and if I do, it's like on a Bofang HT. That's it. So I really didn't have a transmit antenna hooked to this radio and so i'm looking around i've got six six or eight maybe ten antennas coming into my workshop so i'm going through all of them which they're not very neatly placed so i got a mess of wires back there i've got to clean up and i found one that was for vhf uhf and it what it is it's a mobile magnetic mount dual band antenna 
and it's sitting on top of the wall air conditioner outside on the metal case there as a base. So I thought, yeah, maybe that one will work, but I don't know. So it, before I exposed my ICOM to it, trying to transmit to it, I used the MFJ antenna analyzer, which will give me, among other things, it'll give me a reading of SWR to that antenna. Uh, and it has a little transmitter inside that sends out a signal to the an antenna, and then it can measure SWR. So I did that, and I measured about 2.3, 2.2 SWR with that setup. So I had a, a baseline. Uh, it looked like you know everything was going to be kosher. So I hooked up the radio to the meter to that antenna to the power supply. I'm ready to go finally after two hours. <laughs> two hours. So I'm here finally. Um, I did two shows. And then uh, on this, and when I reviewed it, I made some really bad mistakes. So I'm like, no, oh, I scrapped that. I'll do a third one. So I'm doing the third show. Whew. So here is the little antenna SWR Watton. Let me zoom in. There it is right there. I was surprised as it was as big as it is. Typically when I buy things on the Internet, I get them and I'm like, Wow, that's kind of small, but this is big. It's it's bigger than I thought it would be. Uh, it's got about a one inch by two inch display, big letters, and what we have being displayed simultaneous, we have SWR here at the top, big letters, and then we have reflected power down here, and then we have forward power. So we're getting all those readings at the same time. It has two switches. Here's an on-off switch. It's off, it's on, using the battery, and it has a nice amber backlight. But even on this display, even with a backlight, it's easy to read. So you can conserve battery power and not turn the backlight off. This is the switch for turning the backlight on and off. Turn it off, turn it on. And it will stay on for several seconds and then it will turn itself off, even in the on position. So. We're ready to go. I'm going to hit the transmit. I'm at 145 megahertz. Uh, I've been listening to that frequency all morning. There's nobody on it, so I shouldn't be interfering with anybody. And I'm going to key the mic for a few seconds, and we'll see what the reading is. All right, here we go. Remember, this is SWR on top. 2.00. Okay, that compares to about 2.2 that I measured with this, with a slightly different setup. Well, could be a major different setup. I mean, I'm using this connected directly to the antenna. Here, I've got a radio, that's my source, and hook to the meter, and then hook to the antenna. 2.0 to 2.2, yeah, that, that's pretty darn accurate. Okay, let's look at the other readings that I get, which is reflected power, which you want that number to be low. That's the power that went out to the antenna and came back. And so it didn't get to the airwaves. So it's wasted power. The forward power is the power that went out to the antenna and it transmitted. All right, so we want this number to be low. You want this number to be higher. Uh, I got the, the radio set up for low power, which is probably one or two uh, watts. Here we go. I got reflected of 0.57, and I got transmit of 2.4. All right, there you go. What is, it's what I expected. I, I expected to be reflected maybe to be a little higher, but it it was in the ballpark of where it should be. I could say I don't, I didn't, I couldn't predict it. And then the output wattage was pretty good. So this setup, even using that um, mag mount antenna, is a pretty good setup. You'd want that SWR number to be as close to one as possible. Like ideally 1.5 or less. So 
What did I have? Let's go back and look again. We have 2, 2.0. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for an SWR. So the setup is pretty good. The meter seems to be right on, right on. Really easy display. I mean, easy to read display, even for me, which I don't have very good eyes. So I think this is a great little analyzer. Um, again, you can get this from MFJ. It's $99, depending on which one you want. They're both $99. Much larger than I thought. Very easy to read. You could read this across the room. And uh, I thank Richard for sending me this for review. And I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Definitely a thumbs up. Um, that's it. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. I will be not necessarily the next show, but I will be reviewing the other two things he sent me, which are the antenna, the infed, I think it's infed antenna for HF, and the pre-selector for either shortwave listening or amateur band listing. HF. That's it. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Take three. <laughs>